Hey Fuerte friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body and this is our 17th Fuerte Body Break. If you don't know what Fuerte Body Breaks are, that's okay. As you can see in the title, they are daily mental health check-ins. They're a moment for me to check in with my body, remind you to check in with your body. They are unedited, they're unfiltered, they are raw files, raw feelings, straight from the heart, straight to the phone, straight to YouTube. Even if my voice shakes, <clears throat> even if I'm afraid, even if it's not perfect, so thank you so much for tuning in thank you we are also gonna be better at actually physically checking in with our bodies so if you have some water with you go grab your water and drink some we're all drinking water right now cheers did you drink your water did you drink it Please also remember to frequently wash your water bottles. That's really important. Um, also, how am I? So, how am I feeling physically today? I feel properly warmed up vocally as well because I had vocal lessons today. I love my vocal lessons. Shout out to my vocal coach Enzo every Sunday. Um, so we, of course, we stretch, we do our scales, and so. I sing all the time at home, but on Sundays, I mean, my Squishmallows get my best performances on Sundays because I'm actually properly warmed up. <laughs> and um, also today I ate my leftover pizza, my preferred way to eat pizza leftover. I also ate some dino nuggets today. That's why I wore my dino nugget earrings that my friend Julie gave me. Thank you, Julie. Um, yeah, and so I'm just feeling, I feel much, I also feel much cooler than I was making yesterday's for to body break. I think it's because I'm wearing this loose, crop top um my east west player shirt it says it's an honor just to be asian sandra oh uh shout out to east west players theater organization um and it was for their merch for this year's lunar new year but speaking of music that's what i wanted to talk about today and just show some gratitude to music and what music has done for my mental health um really early days i think of songs that have got me through um immediately i think of since you've been gone by kelly clarkson <laughs> and i what I loved about it was when I, on my iPod, when we would download songs onto iPods, I, the and it's alphabetical by some, when you have your songs, and so I had Since You Be Gone, Since You Been Gone, right on top of Single Ladies by Beyonce. And I think of that, <laughs> and I think of how even when I wasn't in a relationship or when I wasn't heartbroken, just that, like, not having my music on shuffle, but just listening to that sequence <laughs> of songs still provides, still provides to this day such release for me. Um, and there's so many songs that do that. That's what I love about music. Um, it just adds, I'm a words of affirmation love language person and music just adds so much more depth to the words that describe my emotions. And so I feel like for me, it's like not enough to say that I'm happy. I need to sing along to I Want to Dance with Somebody by Whitney Houston. You see, like it just... It makes that much more of a difference. Um, and it's just like, it's the way that different, you know, no no song is the same for one person, both listening to it and singing it. And so what a gift to especially like hear Whitney's voice, just color those words. Um, every Whitney song um, 
just colors my emotions uh, and releases my emotions uh, so, so, so much. I also think of songs uh, that don't have words. I think of why I love EDM so much and how the sounds and the instrumentals and how they're like constructed together also provide release for me and also make me you know make me run faster on a treadmill or on or when I'm running outside or I could visualize uh, a runway um, during fashion week I can visualize um, uh, a dance routine with with a hundred people i could visualize a dance routine with that's a solo that's a partner piece um i feel like music is usually what helps unlock a lot of creativity for me so even if it's just putting on lo-fi versions of disney music while uh i'm while during like work time during a workshop that i'm running or if it is thinking of musicals that also inspire the musical that I'm writing and I'm, I'm like trying to find what, what I want to draw inspiration from. Does that make sense? If you're a creative, I'm sure this makes sense to you. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, let's do our affirmations let me know what songs you think of um when i was describing songs that unlock creativity for me that release emotions for me um our affirmation today says everything that happens to me in life is purposeful and intentional everything that happens to me moves me towards my greater destiny as a look at that as an artist oh <laughs> i love that it's true and um that's what vocal vocal coaching did for me today that's what making this video does for me today oh let me read this for you as well. Everything that happens to you in life is purposeful and intentional. Everything that happens to you moves you towards your greater destiny as an artist. If you are an artist, I feel like everyone is an artist, but if you're not an artist, um, everything that happens to you moves you towards your greater destiny as an the human being you want to be and like i said um yesterday we are almost done with the affirmations that were all in this jar already and so we'll put them all back in and begin the rotation all over again along with new affirmations and then um if you have an affirmation you want to put in the jar please put it in the comments and maybe i'll pull it in um another foot to body break before we go there is a quote also that i wanted to read to you all that reminded me of why i started this series and really why i started this channel as well um this is from muslims of the world i saw my friend uh reshare it to her story and it says you're human to be human is to both cry and smile to listen to one's emotions and experience them you can fight for humanity without neglecting your own um and i feel like yeah starting this series for to body breaks was a way for me to not neglect my own and it's a way for me to preserve uh that strength and to honor my emotions and experience them and so um i'm so grateful to experience them with you and share them with you and i hope you are also honoring and experiencing your emotions uh, when you have your own voice and body breaks um as we continue to fight for humanity and of course uh that being said our daily reminder to go to the description below 
please click multiple links, do multiple actions to stand in solidarity with Palestine. Liberation for one of us means liberation for all of us. Liberation for Palestine means that we are also going to go hard in fighting for Haiti, for Congo, for Sudan, for the Philippines, for Hawaii, for Puerto Rico, for all of us. This is for everything. This is a pivotal moment in time and please, it's never, it's never too late uh, to join. It's never too late to start. And I hope that the resources that are in the description below are enough for you to start, enough for someone you love to start, or enough for you to keep going. Call your representatives, go out to a protest, please, and keep sharing the stories, especially from the journalists who are on the grounds in Palestine revealing the truth to the world. Thank you. Take care of yourselves rest the rest of this Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow. All my love always and always. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body.